so so I had to put that clip in the beginning because my house looks cray cray so you can't see it in the video but it's actually pouring down with rain and it's freezing cold and my housemates decided to jump in the swimming pool because they're wild um but I wanted to share that <laughs> with the with the talk with the world so I want to talk about the love of God love is the purpose of life there's no meaning to life basically without love love is it like everyone wants love everyone needs love everyone desires love and everyone wants to give love and that's exactly how god created us we're made in his image and he's the same in fact he is love the bible says that god is love there is no badness in love there's no negativity in love there's no condemnation in love there's no accusation there is nothing bad no matter what you do you are loved you are just absolutely loved and i really want to aim this video to people that have been hurt by the church or people that think church is a place where you go and you're going to get judged and critiqued and god cares how is your heart like you watching this you're just more love than you could ever possibly imagine when you fall in love like some people had love at first sight and they see this person and they're fixated they're like this is the person that i want want for the rest of my life and they will chase them down they will chase them down relentlessly <laughs> because they're in love and they want that person that is that is so funny because it's just a feeling that you have that when that happens it's a substance within you that takes over and that that is god like that substance is god the pursuit the idea of the pursuit came from god and his heart toward mankind and he's been doing that since the beginning he's just this relentless pursuit and i just want to just lift off a couple of scriptures so john 8 41 says i have been misrepresented by those who don't know me so there are people that that represent god but they don't know him. 1 John 4 16 I am not distant or angry I'm the complete expression of love. Ah oh, I would just like I also encourage you to just meditate on these scriptures like just get your head around that he's a complete expression of love. He isn't distant he is not angry. 1 John 3 it is my desire to lavish my love upon you jeremiah 29 11 my plan for you has always been full of hope psalm 100 for and 139 verse can't remember my thoughts toward you are as countless as sand on the seashore his thoughts are as countless as sand on the seashore think about the amount of sand there is on the seashore he has more thoughts toward you than there are sand on the seashore and none of these thoughts are bad. Exodus 9 verse 5, you are my treasured possession. And Psalm 37 verse 6, let me look at my notes, I bet you thought I could remember them then. Psalm 37 verse 4, delight in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. As we delight in God, he gives us the desires of our heart. Like all these scriptures, all of them are that that's god it's love like he loves you he filled you with love he filled you with life there is nothing you could do and yeah i just want to say like even if you feel like you need to hide if you have secrets i'd honestly just encourage you to like be real about them to god like he knows everything anyway chat to him about it you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna link um, below there's this dude called graham cook and he does a lot of ministering through like videos and things like that and i actually listen to these when i go to bed i'm gonna link one below and it's all about the love of god and i honestly like just when you're going to sleep or when you have a moment to just lie down um or when you spend time with god just put your earphones on and just listen to this video and just let it speak to your heart let the peace of god just fill you up and the love of god just fill you up just acknowledge the love within you and just recognize that as the love that he's given you the love that he has for you yeah